Destiny 2 is full of currencies and sometimes they can be a little vague, but it's worth paying attention to them because they're going to help you get access to new loot in Beyond Light. Today I'm going to talk about a here always farming technique to help you efficiently gather as much of this currently as possible so you can get access to the Europa rewards from Varix and the Empire Hunts. So the following is a guide for how to farm here always in Destiny 2 Beyond Light. And don't forget, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. So first of all, you want to finish up the campaign and then do the post-campaign missions from Varix. So this is going to open up the Empire Hunts quest, and from these you're going to be able to get some of the new loot in Beyond Light, like the new Coriolis Force Fusion Rifle and the Thermal Erosion Machine Gun. And you'll get a bunch of these new weapons from the campaign, but the machine gun and the fusion rifle are pretty special weapons in their own right. To be able to access the Empire Hunts you're going to need here always currency. And this is a new currency used with Varix and can be found on Europa. So once you get through the main campaign you'll unlock Varix's sabotage options. And if you inspect this you'll see three tiers to unlock. So here always can be rare at first, but by unlocking a few tiers here at Varix, you can make this much easier and faster, and soon you'll be gathering here always pieces from all over Europa in no time at all. So here always can be found by completing lost sectors, patrols and public events on Europa, so you can roam around the icy moon and do this, but you want to find a much more efficient method, and I've got that for you here today. On a regular completion of a lost sector you'll get three here always pieces, but if you focus on ranking up Varix, then this is going to unlock bonuses allowing you to get six or maybe ten pieces on a single lost sector completion. So there's three unlocks you should focus on in Varix's sabotage menu. So in the first tier we've got Empire Hunt 1, so here Empire Hunt quests cost less. So then you've got Europan Protector 2, so you earn more here always pieces by defeating with Stasis. And then on tier 3 you've got Europan Protector 3, so you earn more here always pieces by defeating enemies with precision final blows. So by unlocking these bonuses it's going to be much cheaper to do the Empire Hunts and then in turn will allow you to get more of the Europa loot that comes with Beyond Light and that includes a nice bunch of new weapons and armour. The sabotage quests can be expensive costing 20 here always pieces at a time so let's have a look at the fastest way to gather these pieces. So for this here always farm we want to focus on lost sectors on Europa and Perdition is good because it's smaller than the other lost sectors found in Europa with enemies often bunching together. You can go in there with any loadout that you feel comfortable with but a Warmind cell build can be good here as it's going to allow you to cause loads of destruction in a short space of time which is really good because we want to be getting through these lost sectors nice and quickly. So Warmind Cells can be generated from Seraph weapons if you have any of those from Season of the Worthy, and also the Ikelos weapons are good for these too, which were available last season from the Prophecy Dungeon. The best weapons here include the Ikelos SMG, the Ikelos Shotgun or the Sniper, and you can also add some mods to your armour to help you generate more powerful Warmind Cell explosions like the mod Global Reach. So in terms of other weapons in my kinetic slot, I'm using Iznagi's Burden Exotic Sniper, which is one of the best DPS weapons in the game, and other good options here are Traveller's Chosen, so you can get your abilities back, and also, if you're looking for a non-exotic option, then the Supremacy Sniper is really good from the Last Wish Raid, or the new SMG Friction Fire from the Wrathborn Hunts. For the energy slot, I'm using the Iklos SMG, and that's good for the Seraph Rounds and the Warmind Cells, or you could use the Iklos Sniper too. Sunshot, the exotic hand cannon, is really, really good here as well, as that's going to create an air of effect damage and kill everything in your path very quickly. For the power slot, there's only really one option, and that is Falling Guillotine. It's still one of the best DPS legendary weapons in the game, and great for getting rid of the bosses as quickly as possible. So if you don't have this, then the new machine gun, Thermal Erosion, is really good at clearing enemies out of the way very quickly, and Anarchy is also good if you're looking for an exotic option. So if you have unlocked the Europan Protector 2, then use your stasis subclass, and that's going to help you get more here always by defeating enemies with your super. Unlock Europan Protector 3 for more here always when you get precision kills, maximizing the number of here always pieces that you get from a single run. It's going to take 2 to 3 minutes to run through the Perdition Lost Sector with this kind of build, and hopefully you'll get somewhere between 6 to 10 here always pieces per run. So now you've collected a bunch of here always currency, then it's off to run some Empire Hunts. And don't sleep on these because the weapons and gear, they're really really good, plus the boss fights are really fun too. 
Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of this Here Always farm. And that is it for this guide for how to farm Here Always in Destiny 2 Beyond Light. And thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out these other videos on the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.